here I go again. Oh, oh. Um, that didn't work out at all, did it? What happened? Ah, oh, the box is broken. All right, let's try that again. Put it back in. Change finger position. Here we go again on my own. It's you're the only thing I've ever known. I'll probably keep the mistake in. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Welcome back to Elbow Off The Top. My name is Adam and today we are opening up the second half of our booster box of Team Coach 2020 AFL footy cards. Now, if you were watching the first box, you will know that I am expecting something special. I'm expecting something amazing because, well, spoilers for part one, we didn't get a Star Wild or a Magic Wild or anything like that in the first half of this box. And if we check on the back of this, it says a Magic or Star Wild card in every 36 packs. We opened up 18 last time, which means we've got another 18. Last time I checked, my basic maths tell me that's 36 packs. So we should be getting something magical or star wildy inside these packs. So sit back, relax, get yourself a drink. You know, it could be water, a little bit of raspberry lemonade, cold where you are, maybe put a bit of ice in there. If it's a bit warm, maybe a bit of hot chocolate might be nice, but sit back, relax, because we are gonna go through all 18 of these packs. And I got a feeling there's something special that's about to happen. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross everything that you're able to due to your gifts. And let's do this now. Wish me luck. All right, first pack. Ba, 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 ba. Crack that open. Let's have a look. Jack Darling. Zach Merritt. Oh, already off to a flyer. We got the Weagles 3D icon with the beautiful, beautiful Grange Wallace art. Love those ones. That's going to take pride to send us straight away. I don't have that one. I'm trying to get all of them. Uh, we got Isaac Henney and the Boop in our... Gold. Dion Prestia. I'm pretty sure I need that. Go Tigers. Cleary coming. Pretty sure I got that Tiger on the end, but still, always good to see the yellow and black. There's a code. There's another code. Now the last video, if you did watch, I may have taken a little bit of liberties. I had a little bit of fun with the whole thing. So it took me to open up 18 packs. It was like nearly 20 minute video. I'm aiming to not do that again. However, I can't promise it. I like to have a chat. And if you've gone into my comment section and commented on any video, you know that I'm right there ready to have a chat back if you want to have a chat with me. Can I say chat any more time? Any more times? Chat, 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 chat. I feel like the word means nothing to me anymore. Callum Sinclair. Sam Doherty. Oh, we got a battle bot of a former Tyke and still someone who's close to my heart. Former premiership player for the Richmond Football Club, Brendan Ellis. Now, I have read this one before, so it's brought in the rule last video. If I've opened it before, if I've read it on camera, I don't read it a second time. So if you want to see the dramatic reading of the Scottish-looking battle bod, go back and look at those ones. Our golds are Himmelberg and Prostia. Go Tigers. I need that one as well. Lucky Weller. Looker, looker, rucker, rucker, sugar, and Sloan. That is the perfect pronunciation of all of those names. I don't know what you're talking about. Code. Code. I've got a uh, couple of bits and pieces to talk about at the moment. You would have seen yesterday we have launched a new video series. I am doing a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber named Cardman22. You know, been putting card videos for a lot longer than me. And I, yesterday I threw out a challenge to him, a pack battle challenge. So hopefully, if you haven't watched that video, after you finish this one, go back and have a look. And we're gonna do a bit of a vote to see who got the better packs. This is uh, not opening easily at all. So make sure that you check that video out. Um, I'm sure his response is out very, very soon as well. I can't wait to see what cards he pulls. A bit of friendly competition between YouTubers while, you know, at the moment we don't have any footy to watch as far as com competition goes. So go check out both those videos. And then I've got a link down below to put in your vote as to who you thought had the better packs out of myself or Cardman 22. Jacob Hopper. Frisk. Oh, we got a footy flips and we've got a Mark Murphy footy flips, which I haven't got before. So I'll flip through that after I finish this pack. Matara and Warple. Stefferson, Crozier, Miochik and Warple again. Oh, there you go. Same pack, gold and base. We always like that here at Elbow at the top. There's a code, there's a code. And time to flip Mark Murphy. We have Mark Murphy. Flips into Mark Murphy. Flips into, Mark Murphy. Flips into, always the best artwork. This sweet looking electric Mark Murphy on the back. Look at that face. It is 
Uh, I don't think my camera's going to focus on that face too much, but that is a slightly terrifying picture of Mark Murphy. Actually, it's pretty representative. Yeah, it's not a bad effort. All right, footy flip complete. All right, blues don't have... Oh, uh oh, I've gone too far. Well, now I've gone this far, I have to complete the rotation. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to go backwards. There we go. So yeah, so check out yesterday's video. Go and vote on uh, the link below and tell me who you thought was the better packs, myself or Cardman22. Now, vote with your head, don't vote with your heart. Or vote with your heart, vote with your head. It doesn't bother me. Whatever you want to vote for. And next week, we're going to reveal who you felt had the better pulls in their packs. I'm going to go from back on this one. Uh, Drusma. I love saying his name. Tommy Hawkins. Brady Smith. Lucky Hunter. Whoop, got to our golds. Dan Houston. Ah, it was very, very sticky. And, oh, Gary Labbert there. But Clayton Oliver in our 3D icons. I'm pretty sure I pulled that one. I think I pulled that one. So if you're a Melbourne supporter and you win my competition videos on Sundays, I might slot that one in for you as well into your packs, whatever you get. Our golds were Houston Ablett. And there is our... Codes right there. No magic or Star Wild yet, but hope is still there. We've still got plenty of packs, plenty of packs to come through. Let's find out. What would I like? I'd really like that beautiful trophy five card or magic card for Bully from the Tigers would probably be another option. Um, hey, we got another Glitter Battle Boz. We've got Stratton Off, which I'm pretty sure has come up like four times on this one channel. So I've definitely read this one. So put that one over there. Our golds are Jones and Darling, and Ron C. Austin, Go Tigers, Neil, and Zuha. Great player on the end. And our codes for our golds are that one, and that one. I'm definitely going a lot quicker than I did last time, so I don't know if you like the slower videos where I talk absolute nonsense for far too long, or if you like the quicker videos where I sort of blast through them a little bit quicker, um, but it's up to you. I'm going to turn these ones around. Let's have a look. All right. Ben King. Bump. Now, last time I did it backwards from here like this, I actually ended up getting a best of ferrets card, which is both ways. So let's see if we can repli replicate. Basha Huli. Uh, Nat Fife in the gold. That is a great get. And I already gave the code away. Tom Bell changes in the gold. And and we've got not a flip card, but we've got a... Oh, <laughs> I thought it was the uh, Fab Fires. No, we got an Isaac Henny 3D icon, which is awesome. I also think I've already pulled this, which means if you're a Swan supporter like my uh, friend who's just become a new subscriber, I'll talk about him in a second, and you win my competition, I might throw this in the pack as well. Now, I'm just going to grab my phone and make sure I get the right name for this guy because... Oh, Rebecca Edwards. Literally, as I'm filming this video, you just became a new subscriber. So thank you so much, Rebecca Edwards. So that's not who I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for the Swanee. There he is, Jordan Dawson. Jordan Dawson and I had a great conversation on my last video where all he put in as a comment was, up the swans. And I started talking about how much I love the phrase, up the blank, because it's such an AFL footy phrase. It's such a phrase that only AFL supporters know and only AFL supporters say. There's no other sport in the world that says, up the, and then insert your team right there. You know, no one's running around saying, up the Broncos or, up the Lakers or up the Yankees. No one's saying that, only AFL supporters. And I love the phrase so much because it actually takes me back to my Nan. Oh, good icon there on the Essendon. Happy with that one. The phrase up the blank actually takes me back to my Nan who used to sit there and watch North games because she was a massive kangaroo supporter. And she'd just sit there going, oh, up the Kangas. So I love the phrase up the blank. So if you're commenting on this video, if you're watching this video, maybe to let me know that you have watched the entire thing, I want you to start your comment on this video or with up the blank. So whatever team you go for. So if it's up, you know, if you go for Richmond, it's up the Tigers. Or if you go for the Swans, it's up the Swannies. Um, if you're a blue supporter, up the Baggers. Um, because I think it's just one of the best things about AFL is that we as supporters scream up the whatever. And I just always found it funny when I was a kid and I still found it funny. So the fact that Mr. Dawson put up the swans on my last video reminded me of like this beautiful time when I was a kid here and my nan screaming at the telly, up the Kangas, up the Kangas. All right, back to it. Callum Ward, Liam Ryan, and oh, we got a 40 flips of the Bulldogs. We'll come back in that in a second. We've got Rory Sloan and Stephen May, two very good players. Um, Jared Pollock, Hartlett, Mitch Robinson, and... Bit of Georgie on the end, go Tykes. There's a code. There's a code. 
And let's go for a flip. Now this is the a Roy. This is a rising star. So we've got Aaron Norton. Oh, Aaron Norton. Oh, Aaron Norton. You are still haunting my dreams. If anyone is not a Bulldogs or Richmond supporter, they probably don't know it. But like in a game last season, Bulldogs versus Tigers, and Aaron Norton just destroyed us. Absolutely destroyed us. So he's a good player. I like Aaron Norton. And the other one is Bailey Smith on the side, who's also a great player as well. Bullies have got a good list. Bullies has got a good list. And if they can put it together, you never know. We might get a repeat of 2016. 16 they won, right? 2016. My wife is a Bulldog supporter. So I do have a very, very soft spot for the Bullies. Let's go from the back. Darcy Fogarty. Danger. 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 Robbie Tarrant. Tommy Lynch. Not the Richmond Tommy Lynch. Jaden Geary. Ooh, Jeremy Cameron. Great, great kick. And we've got Frulora Oroni from the coast. From the, from the coast. From the Cold Coast Suns. Other gold is Jaron Geary. And our rare is. I finally managed to get the rare as the last thing. Is. Oh! Yes. One card that I desperately needed was Dion Prestia. Best and fairest. There he is. Let's make him sure he's still Dion Prestia on every side. Yep, Dion Prestia that side, Dion Prestia that side, Dion Prestia that side, Dion Prestia that side, Dion Prestia that side. Dion. I could do that literally forever. Oh, that is a good card. I know, I know, I know people are like, oh, ugh, you're Tiger supporter and all that sort of stuff. But I hope, hope beyond hope that you can enjoy the fact that celebrate my AF Dildum. My AF Heldum? Is that a phrase? I don't know. And that obviously I support my team, the Richmond Tigers, but I love watching all the other teams play as well. There's a code. There's a code. So I hope this isn't just for the Tiger supporters. You can't not support the team that you love, right? It's passion. It's footy. I love saying up the Tigs as much as anyone, but it's also just important to celebrate footy. So one could say up the footy. All right, Toby Green. Ah, uh, Toby Green. Jacob Weedering. Let's go over the back. Stefan Martin. Worked out well for me last time. Dylan Grimes. Go Tigs. Brett Crouch. Jared Pollock. Golds of Jaeger Bomb O'Meara. Connor Rossi. And that means our rare is... Hey, we got a new Battle Bobs. Daniel the Great, which looks like Daniel Rich, which is fantastic. And also, that means I got to read the back. Profile. <clears throat> clear my throat. Is it good YouTubing if you just clear your throat straight into the microphone and let everyone hear it? Just like his namesake, Alexander the Great. Daniel Grich is great. A rising star winner. His talent is great. And his attack on the ball is great. Oh, no. This is kind of similar to the deal in the last yeah, one where they just keep using the same phrase over and over again. There's so many other phrases for great. Fantastic. Brilliant. I get that you've got the whole Daniel the Great, but you only need to say it once or twice and we get it. All right, here we go. Just like his namesake, Alexander the Great, Daniel Rich the Great, a rising star winner, his talent is great, his attack on the ball is great, his tackling inside 50s, kick efficiency, and his disposal count is, you guessed it, great. He is a great warrior for the Brisbane Lions and totally earned his title. His title again? I don't remember what his title might be. Oh, look at that, it looks like a little Simba. It looks like a little Simba from, uh, from Lion King. That's adorable. Six, seven, eight packs to go. So we're halfway. Yeah, halfway. Eight times two is 16. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, making sure that you are going and liking it, putting in a comment, starting with up the whoever. Memory, Parish, and hey, we got a 3D icon of Jaeger Bomb O'Meara. Uh, I've definitely got this one, which means if you are a hawk and you win my comp, I'll definitely throw that in as a special extra. Uh, Adam Sarah, Steel Sidebottom in the gold, Lockie Hunter, Selwood Gray, and McMillan. Let's put Jaeger Bomb up there. Up the Hawks. So obviously I have two grandmas. One was a North supporter, one was a Hawks supporter. So up the Hawkies is something that she used to yell at the TV as well. Actually, uh, another fun story from my past. My grandma was a Hawks supporter and my grandpa was a Tiger supporter. And apparently, according to my dad, whenever Hawthorne played Richmond, no matter what the outcome, they didn't speak to each other for like a week. If Richmond won, then my grandma wouldn't talk to my grandpa for a week. And if the Hawks won, my grandpa wouldn't talk to my grandma for a week. And my dad would have to be like the mediator between the two of them. It's pretty hilarious, let's face it. Kristen Salem, Nick Blakey, and oh, very happy with that. Very happy with that. I do not have that 3D icon. And it is another beautiful Grange 
Wallace artwork right there with the Port Adelaide. Lucky that one. Lucky, lucky that can go next to my Prestia. Rowan Marshall, Kristen Salem in the gold. Patton, Phillips, and Sexton McRae. So I put him as my captain my first round of my fantasy. Code and code. All right, no sign of a magic or star wild yet. No star wild, no magic, but it doesn't mean that it's not coming out. I'm getting scared that it doesn't come out, by the way, but hopefully it does. Dylan Shield, Adam Sarah, and oh, speak of the devil. The crows have turned up again, and that is a beautiful. Wait, hang on a second. Uh, wait, what? Um, I got two special cards in this pack. I got a Magic Star Wild and Best and Ferris of the Bomp, which also I don't have, so that's great. But we've got our Magic Star Wild, which is fantastic. Let's turn it around. Let's have a look at the back as well. Beautiful, beautiful art there. Now, this is not Grange Wallace art. These Magic Star Wilds are done by Jamie Cooper and Rory Sloan, who is an absolute gun. Probably my favorite Adelaide Crow. I was actually getting a little bit worried that I wasn't going to get something pretty like that. Now, sleeve. We need a sleeve for this one. And slide that in there like that. Keep it nice and protected. Finally, we got our special one in 36 pack, which means if we get another one, ooh, we are ahead of the curve. There is Hurley and McRae. It happened. It happened. Rory Sloan has turned up. We got five left. I uh, can't think of what I really want. I probably just want to keep getting those 3D icons of the team that I haven't got yet. Um, so fingers crossed we can get that done. Jerry McGovern, Devin Smith, and the Kangaroos Fab Five. I do need this one. Do need those ones. My golds are Harry McKay and Luke Parker. We've got a Tiger Cam La Kane Lambert, Alex Witherden, Mears, and a Tiger on the end double Tiger pack. Code. Code. Up the Kangas. My grandma, who's a Hawk supporter, sadly is not with us anymore, but my my nan, who is a uh, kangaroo supporter, is still well and truly there, and she still loves sitting down and, and support. I was born into a split family. Half North Melbourne, half Richmond, and my blessing or my curse or whatever it may be is I ended up getting the Tigers and having to follow them through the entire time. Swans Fab Five, Rockcliffe and Ben Stratton, Sam Jacobs, Hardwick, Lysette, and Sean Higgins. So I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. I felt for the first 30 plus years of my life, it was a curse being a Richmond supporter. But in the last few years, finally, I've had something to cheer and yell about. As my dad continually reminds me, because he obviously lived through the 80s and you know, had seen pretty much most of Richmond's premierships live at the game. Uh, he said, son, enjoy it while it lasts because it won't be forever. And that's 100% true. Once, you know, our core, Dusty and Kochi and Jack and uh, Grimes and Edwards and all that sort of stuff starts to get a little bit older, hopefully we can still maintain. We've got some good young kids coming through though, so fingers crossed on that one. And upside down. I'm just going to show this upside down. Danger, it's feeling a bit upside down today. Bit wrong way up. Our golds are Toby, Go Tigers, and Matt Crouch. Darcy Moore, great action photo on that one, actually. Um, Laria with a eh, bit of a tiger in the background. I'll give that one a roar as well. Jamie Elliott with ha, some more tigers in the background. And human cluggage on the end. There is a code, and there is a code. Two packs to go. Bit of a reminder, if you are new to the channel, I would love for you to consider maybe subscribing and coming along on this YouTube journey. I've had some amazing new people join me and some classic old ones. I love having a chat in the comments. So if you are enjoying the videos, make sure you comment. Oh, Batty Cripps has turned up. Oh, the man, the man. If we get a 2020 season, that's my pick for the Brownlow. This guy is just too good of a player. You know what hurts me the most about Paddy Cripps? First of all, A, he's obviously a gun, and he's already a gun, and he's so young. But in the draft year that Paddy Cripps was selected, the Tigers had a chance to pick him up before Carlton did. And my mind boggles to think about what a midfield featuring Patrick Cripps and Dusty Martin would look like. No one would be able to even touch them. Andrew Gaff and Dugowie in our golds. Blick Havs, Tim English, Cleary, and Cunnington on the end. Up the Kangas. There's that one. And there's that one. Tomorrow is Sunday, which means my new competition video will be out. We're going to do a backwards one for this one. Um, and so if you are... Ooh, go Tykes. And if you are enjoying the videos, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I always love having a bit of a chat in the comment section. Oh, let's go from the front. Buddy. And... Brad Shepard, which means our last rare 
special card's going to be. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. The 3 Dock is 3 icon, which means I step one bit closer to completing this set. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're enjoying my content, make sure that you like and comment down below. I love having all the wonderful comments down in there and have a bit of a chat. If you did watch the whole video, remember, up the whoever. And if you are new to the channel, make sure that you are subbing and hitting that bell icon for future videos. I've got plenty more footy content to come out. So please make sure that you are looking after yourself. You're staying safe in this strange, strange time that we've got in the moment. Washing your hands and doing all that good stuff. Apart from all that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.